Hello guys, thank you for tuning in. It is Saturday morning and I'm about to head to Parkrun. I'm going to try a different location today. I'm going to a parkrun I've not been to before, so I thought I would take you along. So this morning we are going to Bromley Parkrun in South London. It is run entirely in a park called Norman Park, which I've been to already a couple of times for my runs since arriving here. It's nice and flat and I think the parkrun is two and a bit laps around this park. I'm going to give it a good effort today and I wouldn't mind Mind getting a new parkrun PB. I'm not going to go all out and race as if it's a 5k race today but my parkrun PB um, is um, quite old and it's 21 minute 20 which is over a minute slower than my 5k race PB so I want to bring uh, the parkrun PB a little bit more in line. So yes maybe today's the day. Norman Park is a little over 5k away from here so I'm gonna take a bus to get me a little closer and then I'm gonna run the rest of the way there. It's gonna be my warm-up and then same on the way back for the cool down. Right, let's roll. and uh, oh my days my hair I'm just absolutely disheveled after this windy windy park run I think there's a storm is it storm auto or something like that that is kind of like disrupting a few areas of the UK with some strong winds um, but yeah a new park run location ticked off today I wouldn't say that Bromley Park Run is the most scenic one around here. If you're coming to London for some park run tourism, I wouldn't really recommend this one. But if you're looking for a fast and flat course, fully on tarmac, then definitely consider Bromley Park Run. It's also a busy one as well, very popular. Um, the average finishers per week is 415, but we had an exceptional turnout today. 576 park runners at Bromley Park Run. So yes, it was a busy one. I'm quite happy with today's effort. Despite the wind, uh, I did get my new parkrun PB. My official time is 20 minutes 50 seconds. Previous parkrun PB was 21 minutes 20. So I brought the parkrun PB a bit closer to my official 5k race PB, which is, as it stands, 20 minutes 19 seconds. But I want to find the 5k race in the next few weeks or few months because I'm pretty sure right now I can do better than that and improve my 5k time. I finished second female today and 44th overall, which I guess isn't too bad uh, for a field of 576 park runners. I'm going to finish this vlog with a little training update and I'm going to tell you about my next race as well. So my last race was the Seville Half Marathon on the 29th of January. The week after that was a recovery week. I was in Seville until the Thursday and then I came back to the UK. I basically did only maybe 40k that week and the only effort was a tempo 5k at park run. And then on the Sunday I started to get ill. I picked up the Lurgy that is going around in the UK. Uh, which meant that the following week, which was last week, starting the 6th of February, I was going to resume proper training again but Although I was well enough to run, 
my resting heart rate was sky high and I was just not well enough to properly train. Did manage a decent amount of volume but barely any intensity and it ended up being another easy week basically. So it's only this week that Training is officially back in full swing. I did 66k this week. I had a really good long run, great effort at park run yesterday, and also a really good session earlier this week. So yes, I am back proper training now in preparation for my next race, which is the Trafford 10k. It is near Manchester, north of England, on the 5th of March. Um, so it's basically in two weeks um, from now not long left. I am really excited to do this race, to get back to the 10k distance. Um, I managed to grab the last available entry because this race always sells out and it should be a good one. Last year I was spectating it because Ben was racing it and this year we are both doing it. So yes, really looking forward to that. If you are doing the Travel 10k, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're new, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!